Hello, YouTube world. So today I'm going to introduce my new Java project, which is called True Shogi. So True Shogi is a variant of modern Japanese shogi game. For my True Shogi project, I will mainly have two classes. One is called Shogi Board, which is right here. Okay, for for Shogi Board, I will first have a two by two race, which contains the string um, of pieces name, and then we go down here to have a lot of possible moves right here. So these functions mainly works for players to check if the move is feasible. So this is a possible move for a pawn, and we still have a possible move for other pieces. Then we get into the user interface classes. Uh, for user interface classes, we first load images for each pieces, and then we realize the mouse interact, interact right here. Okay, now let's run this game and test. Um, this is a 12 by 12 Chushogi board, and this is a pawn, and we make a move for pawn. The pawn can only make one step up. Okay, so now if I want to make another move for this side, it doesn't work. So we move a move for this side and this side, and we just check what going to happen right here. Okay. So when this pawn enter to the animus, animus region, it will be promoted to be a token. The token has the same move as the go general right here. Um, we just test a move for a token. It can make one move back and also make one move le left or right. Okay, we try another several pieces right here. Uh, we can try a pieces called freaking. So freaking is basically the queen in the western chess. It can make unlimited move in each direction. Okay, so now if I want to make a wrong move for the free king, for example right here, well, it doesn't work because it doesn't uh, meet the requirements for uh, the possible move for free king in the functions uh, we have in Shogi board. Okay. We can try another several pieces. One is called the dragon here, which is basically the same as the rook in Western chess, but can also make one step in the diagonal. Okay, so that's all for what I have so far. And later I'm gonna add two timers here, uh, which can count the time for each side of players. And thanks for watching this video.